do the the Winston in 2000. You see right here on the uh, A post there, or back here on top when they used to have the the old uh, wicker to kind of keep the drag off the car, keep the car more arrow and more down. All right, now you got the number 25. I'm gonna do the die cast now, the bigger die cast. I'm done on the small ones. You got uh, the 25 NASCAR Nextel Cup Series, Brian Vickers. Now it's got the hood tether. It's got the hood. It's got the hood tethers on it. It's 2005 Brian Vickers. Uh. Ditech.com GMAC Chevy. Man, show you the engine here. I'm gonna pull this hood up here. There's the engine detail on this thing. It's pretty, pretty, pretty extensive on here. You got uh, nothing on the nothing on the hood there. You got the like I said, the hood tethers in the back. This is one of the elite versions. So you, you got you get to see the pretty much the good detail in there. You got the wires, you got the suspension, you got the, the, you got the more, you got more about the radiator cam, you got more, you got more pretty much, pretty exclusive detail because it's like I said, it's one of the elite versions of these cars. And, uh, you know, here's the back, here's the bottom of this. I mean, you, I mean, you got more, way more detail on these elites. I don't know why than the, AR, than the ARC version, but you got a lot more deets in them. Like you, you can see uh, the wire, you know, leading up to the leading up to the fuel cell. Now on the back here, this is uh, that's the team caliber owner series. So this is zero of four sixty eight. You got the suspension back here on the back of this. You got the, the, you can see the, the exhaust, you can see the, the, where it comes out this side over here. And basically it's more, it's more exclusive detail. You, you got the, the bumper cover right here, you know, for the radiator, you got the, the, the brake line. It's just more, more exquisite detail. You, you got more of the, more of the exquisite detail right here. You got where the, where the front bumper is, the front bumper clip. Uh, where the radiator is, you got the back here, the fuel cell. Like I said, on these team caliber cars, you had more, and it's a little bit more heavier than one of the ARC versions. But yeah, you got a lot of detail on, the, on, on these than you do anything else. It's got number 25 EMP Hendrick Motorsports, Nouvelle, Budweiser Pole Award, Gillette Sunoco, GMAC, die tick and roof flaps do open on this car as you can see it's got the tethers on the roof flaps here now the hood i like the the, the tethers because it actually yeah, i can get that one up well anyway it's got the hood tethers on on the uh, roof flaps here where the flaps actually do come up but yeah it's got the opening you can open it's uh, on this side you got the open window net see that Hang on a minute. you can see inside the car the hit the hit head restraint system I mean the ARC man they they put a lot of detail into these cars I mean they put a lot of you know pretty much all the safety components in the in this bad boy that they could now this is like I said it's a 2005 Chevy Monte Carlo for Rick Hendrick, you got a Rida G, G, good wrench protection plan, uh, GMAC, you got the Chevrolet on the back, you got the, I mean the tires move, you know, you, you can actually move the tire, this one, is, this one actually the steering wheel inside the car moves. Uh, so it's I don't know if it's it's not a race version, but it's one of the cleaner. It's not a race version, but now, I don't know about y'all, but 
I'm telling you what, this was probably the most uncontroversial race car I ever saw. This is the COT version of Jeff Gordon's number 24 DuPont Automotive Finishes 2008 COT. Now, as you can tell, there's a lot of safety features that went in, went in this car. Uh, back then, they used to put, they, and they still do to this day, they put, they put the uh, ignition switches the ignition box is right up here on, on the uh, inside the inside the, the, the car on the windshield, so the drivers could kind of, you could kind of tell. Now on the back on the underside of this, you got the you got the bottom of the car, you got the rear end suspension on it, you got the intercooler in it, uh, you got the bumper, the what they call the uh, oh, what do they call that? Dad burn it. Uh, got right up in here where they have the uh, sitting out at C post I think I don't know well, anyway you got these uh you got the bumper right here so if anything it hits the car it basically wouldn't bounce off then you got the exhaust manifold that comes out out of here you got sparkle uh, Quaker State Pepsi Morrow NASCAR Sprint Ser Sprint Cup Series Holly Checkers All right, let's get into it here. We got the last great American badass, Tony Stewart, driving the 2011. Number 14, Mobile One, Chevrolet Impala in 2011. Stewart Haas on the front of the deck lid there. You got Goodyear. You got Tony Stewart, you got Checkers, you got Ritz Crackers, U.S. Army, Burger King, Tracker Boats, and on the, on the, a lot of cars now, back then used to have Tony Stewart, now they got smoke on there. Well, that's Tony Stewart's car. Hang on, y'all, I'll be right back. Now, let's go back to old school. Let's back to 1998. You got uh, Johnny Benson driving the number 26 for uh, Jack Roush. Ford Taurus. Goodyear belts and hoses. You got Goodyear on the side here. I can't really tell what's on the A post, but this car here is uh, this car he drove in 1998 for Roush, Fenway, Roush Racing. You got Cheerios, Hamburger Helper, Betty Crocker, and Pop Secret. Exide, Comp Cams, Silkins, Jessel, Normax. Back then, these guys had. You can tell by the, by these some of these cars, they had a bunch of contingency sponsors on them. Well, this is Coy Gibbs. Now, this car was. Uh, it's a 2002 Pontiac, and it's driven by by the late Coy Gibbs. 
who used to run in the NASCAR Bush Series by Action Performance. Now, Coy, as y'all know, just recently died. Uh, passed away last year after 2021. But anyway, Coy used to drive this car right here in the NASCAR Bush Series for Joe Gibbs. It's the number 20 ConAgra Foods 2002 for Joe Gibbs. 2002 NASCAR Bush Series Pontiac. You got Penske Racing Shocks, Lincoln Welders, Mechanics Wear, MSD Ignition, Holly Carbs, Unical 76, JE Pistons, Clavit, Simpson Edelbrock, Wix Filters, Max Tools. And there's the underside of it. There's the uh, under of the hood there. You got ConAgra. And under the deck lid here, don't really raise up that well you got the fuel cell and of course the rookie stripes on the back of it all the all the stuff that conagra foods makes you got wesson pretty much all the stuff you use every day you got wesson kids cuisine uh eckerich flachoy frenchman's that Hebrew National. So basically all the stuff that he that Conagra makes are pretty much well on this car. Like I said, this is a 2002 Pontiac. And it's got the We Care Butterball Healthy Choice Banquet, you know, on there. And then over here, let's go again to uh, one of the Earnhardt's, Dale. Now this is a 2002 Can't believe I tell y'all the year wrong. This is uh, all right, Dale Earnhardt's 2001 win it when he won at a year after his father passed away. On the back here, you got Dale's 2001 Earnhardt Jr.'s 2001 number eight for the EA Sports EA Sports 500 in 1990 and 2001. Under here, you got the engine detail. Right up underneath there, you got the engine detail. Um, this is now this is a race version, so it's not really dialed it. And you see all the damage there on the side there of the quarter. Basically, he must have got into somebody, got into the, got into some tire marks there in the wall. Not a lot of damage on this one, but. Uh, you can tell on the front, front grill where he might have, you know, got some damage while while pushing somebody. Uh, you know, right here on the on, on this side over here, he might have got a little bit of damage by getting into somebody over there. Maybe, maybe he scraped the wall a little bit or got in, into somebody. Dale didn't really. Uh, anyway, this is Dale's 2001 EA Sports Talladega win. Well, this is NASCAR Dirt, boys. I mean, this is Dirt Track, boys, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this extensive video. Um, like I said, if y'all have got any, any more questions about anything y'all have seen today, um, just like I said, hit me up in the comments, let me know, and I will definitely try to get more stuff and, and let y'all see it more uh you know more things out there um i'll try to let y'all look at it and see it as much as i can um you know money's an issue <laughs> um and yeah like uh you know you guys want more of the stuff to do more we're trying to go out and do and do, do actual NASCAR things. I know it's kind of tough right now, but in April we, we I can I can definitely say we're going to be going. I am going to be definitely going to a NASCAR race in April, and be going to uh, Martinsville, and I'll try to get some pictures and send vi and videos out for that. And uh, we'll definitely try to get 
do, do something like that. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is my exclusive, my extensive collection of, of different cars and different genres of drivers. You know, like I said, you, I've got a bunch of dri old guys in here, not just Earnhardt, not just, um, you know, Gordon, I mean, Earnhardt Jr., Alan Kawicki, which is another tra tragic story. Um, as you guys know, Alan Kawicki died in a plane crash 19, April the 1st, 93, uh, traveling to Bristol. You know, it was about a cloudy, cloudy like it is now. And it was, when I say April, April 1st, 1993, I'm not making that, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not making that up. And then not too long afterwards, you know, about four, let's see, April, March, March, April, May, June. So July of 90, July the 20th, I want to say July the like somewhere in mid July of '93, um, Alan Co or Davy Allison passed away in a helicopter crash at Talladega after winning. I think after winning the Die Hard 500 in '93, but it was a pretty tragic uh, thing for for '93, and you know during that time, you know it was kind of hard to get everything back going. Um, oh yeah, 93 was a rough one for, uh, for, uh, for sure. And, you know, it was, it was kind of hard for a lot of people to see, you know, a lot of things and all that. And it just a, just a rough year uh, for NASCAR. And, um, but yeah, this is my exclusive collection of different drivers, different cars, not just from Earnhardt or Gordon. I mean, from Bill Elliott to Terry Labonte to, to Ricky Craven, or to, or to Ricky Rudd to, uh, you know, to Tony Stewart, to Johnny Benson, to, to the Coy Gibbs. And, I, and also, I just want to say to the uh, Gibbs family, you know, who's had a, a, I wouldn't say an easy life, but, you know, I think it was uh, 2015 or 2016, you know they they lost uh, they lost J D Gibbs, um, which is the son of Joe Gibbs and uh, the father uh, of Coy, and uh, you know just just to just to go out my heart felt uh, for Ty Gibbs now who's like you know very young with, without a father, and um, to the whole Gibbs family and I and I, I know. That this year is going to be definitely hard for for the fifty four team. Now the fifty four team is, is going to be is is, a, is going to be a cup team for Ty Gibbs. So there ain't the eighteen will not be uh, uh, Ty Gibbs. So it's not going to be tied with anything, I guess, because you know they got so much tied to to Kurt to uh, excuse me Kyle Bush that I don't think they wanted to have still anything to do with with that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, this is an ex exclusive collection of NASCAR. It's a pretty long video because I've got a lot of stuff to to, 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 to you know have over the time collected. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please comment them in, in the comments, and we'll try to get more NASCAR videos because I know I seen I, I, believe me, I look at the comments and I, I I've seen what you guys like. And I know that, that, you know, the subscribers I've subscribed to, you know, have got a pretty extendable, extendable NASCAR collection. And I'm trying to bring that around to you guys here, here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't know where y'all are from, but if y'all are anywhere in this area, just let me know. Hit me up, Dirt Track Boys. And like I said, we're going to be going to Martinsville in April. And... Uh, Hope to see you guys there in Martinsville, and peace out. I love you, and we'll try to get some more. We'll get more NASCAR stuff out. Um, I guess that's pretty much what I'm gonna do it in this video. 
like I said, it's Dirt Track Boys. If y'all have any, y'all have any uh, more comments that y'all want to know, uh, put them out there because I do, I, I do read them. I, I do get to them, and I, I do want to thank all the subscribers that's already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it very much. Um, again, it's Dirt Track Boys. Peace out, love y'all, and, we'll, and we'll see you at, at the next uh, NASCAR race. All right, I love you guys. That really.